Okay, we're going to cover five pin relays. And five pin relays are really great because they allow us to control two different circuits with one relay. So we're going to draw it out, help visualization for everybody. So we have our relay box. Just like the four pin, there's some standard things going on. We're going to have pin 86. We're going to have pin 85. Internally in the relay here, we're going to have our control coil. Over on this side, coming in the top, we have 30. Coming out the bottom, we're going to have 2 instead of 1, like a 4-pin. We have 87A, and we have 87. Internally in the relay, you would have a contact point like this. And then our switch. Okay, 30 is always going to be battery power. So what we're trying to do is get this battery power to go to different circuits here. 85 is going to be our power control side, and 86 is going to be the ground control side. I'll indicate ground here. So as we supply power through 85, and it's grounded on 86, this coil energizes, creating magnetic field. When the magnetic field is created, it's going to pull the switch from 87A over to 87, thereby switching to a different circuit. So where this comes in handy is if I take 87A and I put a light bulb in it, hook it to ground, if I take 87, put a light bulb in it, hook it to ground. So we'll call this our low beam. And we'll call this our high beam headlights. So just driving around in normal, possibly daytime or just uh, night driving, you're just using your low beams, everything's fine. You get to a dark spot and you want to switch to high beams, you pull the switch. Depending on how the circuit is wired, that switch is actually going to supply the ground to this relay or supply power to pin 85 to energize this coil. Once that coil energizes, we're going to break the circuit from 87A because that magnetic field pulls the switch over. Then our switch is going to be hooked to 87, thereby lighting up our high beams and giving us better visibility. As soon as you release the high beam switch, the coil shuts down and the switch automatically switches back over to 87 and back to the low beams. So this is a great way we can use a single relay to control two different circuits for us.